There is a reason for the hat, besides the fact that I missed the Expos. You can't tell hair color. You can hide it. Well, who cares? Many people these days care about dyeing their hair. Come back with me for a moment to 1933, the Chicago World's Fair. And there was an exhibit there mounted by the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. that was dubbed by one reporter as the American Horror Show. Why? Because it had pictures of women who had various kinds of eye damage caused by lash lure. Lash lure was an eyelash, an eyebrow dye uh, that had come into very, very common use. And it turned out to have some very toxic effects when it got into the eye. It irritated. Sometimes you'd get bacterial infections. And in fact, there was even one case of a lady who died from an infection caused by uh, this uh, chemical. Well, the chemical we're talking about is phenylenediamine, which was first made in the middle 1800s by August Wilhelm Hoffmann, one of the most famous of all the German chemists at that era. And Germany was the leading uh, chemical manufacturer in, in those days. And uh, it turned out that when this chemical was exposed to air, it turned into dark brown or black. And that was great for the fur trade. That's where it was first used. But by the late 1800s, it had been adapted for use as a hair dye. And then came its adaptation to eyelashes and, and eyebrows. And that's what caused the problem. And when Eleanor Roosevelt, the first lady of the United States, visited that exhibit, she was absolutely horrified. And she said, I can't look at these pictures. And that got a lot of publicity. And her husband, FDR, was very much in favor of public health. And eventually, this exhibit led to the passing of a law, the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, which uh, had some teeth in, in terms of eliminating chemicals that were dangerous. And phenylindiamine was one that was eliminated from eyelash and eyebrow dyes, not from hair dyes. It is still used in hair dyes today, but it is used in a safer way because smaller amounts are used and they are combined with what is called a coupler. And when this is applied to the hair, the chemical reaction actually takes place inside of the hair and the molecules are too large to diffuse out. Anyway, it's not that there is no concern about phenylindiamine. There is some because uh, uh, last year, in 2019, there was actually a study carried out called the SISTER study, which looked at women who had breast cancer and their sister who did not. And one would expect, uh, uh, because of genetics, that there would be a greater incidence of, of uh, the previously non-affected sister as well. So it was a good population to study. And it turned out that the women who had used hair dyes had somewhat of a higher risk of breast cancer. Now, of course, you cannot prove with such an association a cause and effect relationship because the diet could have been different. Also, they use different personal care products, etc. But at least it does raise uh, some concern. I think in the overall context of everything that we are exposed to, the risk is, is very, very little. Certainly nothing like in 1933 with uh, uh, lash lure. And incidentally, that caused a lot of concern with Maybelline, which was a competing company, because they had never used phenylindiamine. They just used some coal dust dissolved in Vaseline. Maybelline was named after Mabel, the sister of the, the inventor of this product. And they were very concerned that they were being lumped together with, with uh, uh, Lash Lure. But eventually all of that was worked out. So there's an interesting history here. And today, I don't think I would worry that much about uh, hair dyes, except for allergic reactions, which are uh, certainly possible. And anyone using hair dyes should always have a, a test to make sure that there's no allergy involved. Uh, so, so much for hair dyes. Uh, as you can see, I don't use it. I'm quite happy with uh, getting old and uh, seeing the little gray and more and more white. Uh, so, for me now, it's really just missing the expos, the reason that I wear that hat.